powder in. This is Francisco once again. So I am recording this video to basically tell all of you that because we have all heard stories of people having visions from God um, but whoever thought of all this internet stuff was really in tune with God we can really say that because you know AI technology is really a a gift from God alright <clears throat> so um a lot of people especially like at in churches and stuff like that a lot of people they they claimed to have some type of a spiritual encounter or some type of a spiritual encounters with God you know and people have actually woken up from like after having like these dreams or experiences with God or something like that and they came they woke up they came back or whatever um, with an invention idea all right so um, I think that um what's it called uh, I think that um <sighs> like I'm saying with excuse me with AI technology <clears throat> there is a lot of breakthroughs going on right now from self drivable vehicles living artificial organs for the human bodies and animals alike as well as You know, AI robots, all sorts of robots, and a bunch of other amazing things, right? And a lot of people, they're not, they're not even on that level of serving others okay just like for instance that the technology when I mean what I'm thinking like when someone loses an arm and they have a they can add an artificial arm and the arm does exactly what a real arm would do. Now that's a real sign from God, right? Um, so there's that. And 
All right, just like the you know the organs, the things inside the human body that need to be repaired. I mean, that need to be replaced. Back in the day, you know, if someone needed a heart transplant, that would mean someone else would have to probably pass away, or they would do some type of surgery, you know, where um, they'll save either both of them or just one of them, like one person. Um, I mean, I don't know how that works. I guess if something like this worked, um, if something like this did work, it was probably for for a good reason. You know, maybe this person that they were trying to save was super super smart right that's all I can really think of because why would anyone want to kill another human being to save another human you know over a medical condition you see what I'm saying like yeah they could like even if the person needs a heart transplant there's still a 50-50 chance the person will either live or die. So why take that chance if the person who is living is in good health? The, the person who they're removing the body part out of you know, let's just say it was a super healthy person. Right? So it doesn't it doesn't really make sense why they really don't want to do that to begin with. But um it was all research and development. Um <clears throat> so you know I'm thinking that we all have something to be grateful for, each and every one of us. And I think that we need to thank, you know, the people who who made all all of this possible because <clears throat> there's a lot of people out there who want to make an impact you know they want to they either work at a job or whatever and they're trying to make an impact but if the person dies that's the end of the story. You know, with technology, on the other hand, someone who focused their attention on self drivable vehicles, um, they made more of a long term type of impact than people who went around feeding people or whatever the case may you know whatever the case may be because this can be something that will never end. You know, although <sighs> the 
there is a way for everyone to um, you know have a spending limit you know especially for people who are on the streets kind of like food stamps so technically they can they, they can have something like a spending limit where they can go to a store and buy food for the day and nothing more and nothing less just that type of thing you know that type of thing so basically taking care of people that way with facial recognition technology fingerprints voice recognition iris you know eye recognition the whole nine yards like that as opposed to wasting everyone's time you know and cooking for everyone or making preparing all kinds of meals and driving around you know um, wasting valuable resources when these people can just walk into a store because you people basically thought about this type of logic let's assume that you guys created you guys thought about this type of logic for people who are on the streets to just go buy food and they'll be able to walk out and you people will know that they're taken care of alright as far as that's concerned um so I just wanted to record this video to talk about the importance of AI technology okay that's basically it so it's just a short video oh you know and I think the point here was that these people were not on drugs these people were thinking outside the box they had real encounters with God we can say that because what they did what they left behind for all of us to interact with is just um, something else Anyways, um, trip out, trip out people, trip out on that.
trip the heck out. <sighs> um. Anyways, have a good night, everyone. I'm going to bed. It's way too late for this. It's 1 a.m. in the morning. <laughs>